Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Got a local, well, not a, well, I mean, I bought it local. It's breweries, not local. This is Oozle Finch, as uh, innovative agitator. They're calling it a Belgian style blonde. I think it said 6% ABV. Yep, 6%. Um, I don't know if you saw the thumbnail, but this did have a head when I poured it, but now it's in the glass here. And first of all, even though it's dark out and it's night, uh, and they're calling this a blonde, that looks, that is so amber, orange almost, <laughs> um, and the head completely faded, um, so that is not a good sign, and it's uh, rather cloudy. Give it a whiff. Well... It does have, you know, s s pretty standard Belgian ar aromatics here. There's definitely, you know, kind of a banana clovey kind of thing. Has almost like a sweet kind of candy presence to it. I don't know if they use Belgian candy syrup in this or whatever, but I would call it, it's definitely more sweet. I am not getting like peppery phenols or anything like that. I mean, I'm just getting. Not, it's a little bit of banana, a little bit bready or weedy. It's not super aromatic. As far as hops go, I mean, if they're using like noble hops, that may be a little bit spicy, but there's no canning date on here. But I think when we got it at the store, oh, it's right here, canned on May 18th. So, wow, that's it's like not even two months old. So, surprising, you know fresh beer and it doesn't look fresh but let's see if it tastes fresh cheers <gasps> wow it's got a tartness to it almost kind of tastes like apple juice or a little cidery which is not a good sign that's usually a sign of infection and they're not calling this a wild beer as far as i know I mean, I guess I could go on the website and look it up, but I shouldn't have to. I mean, if it's a wild beer, say it on the say it on the can, say it on the packaging. Uh, kind of like the aroma, definitely some Belgian-y banana kind of esters there. That kind of general candy kind of flavor to it, you know. <laughs> it almost kind of reminds me of like a a Red Bull or Monster or something like that, like the standard uh, straight recipe, like nothing you know flavored or whatever. Mouth feels surprisingly thin, especially for six percent, and um, it's not very well carbonated. Like when I poured it, the head just fizzled away in like maybe ten seconds, like a soda. Actually, makes that same and same noise or sound, you know, just that. And I don't know where they're coming from calling this a Belgian blonde. And the color is like way too dark, and so a dark color would. Maybe think like they're throwing like way too much toasted malt in here, or like if this is somebody's homebrew, I would say they probably use liquid malt extract. But I can't imagine a production brewery would use liquid malt extract. Um, I don't have the Belgian blonde guidelines in front of me, but a Belgian blonde, the most famous example is probably Lefe. You know, uh, I mean, it's owned by AB InBev, so you can get it pretty much anywhere now, and like that's actually a really good beer. But this is like nowhere near that. I mean, I guess with the color, you could probably call it a Belgian pale. Um, but even then, I mean, I don't know. To me, this this tastes very, very amateur. So this, to me, this is like, I thought I was drinking somebody's homebrew, um, not from a production brewery. I will say as far as taste goes, there's nothing like really offensive about it. Like there's a little bit of tart, you know, kind of like I said, kind of like a cidery thing in there. But to me, it tastes fine. It's not, it's not sour or you know, spoiled tasting like that. I mean, but it just doesn't taste like what it's supposed to be. Like I, just looking at it and tasting it, I'm like, I don't know what this brewery was going for, but they didn't hit it. And like, it's, there's a problem with the carbonation. I mean, this beer has a very thin body for 6% ABV. It finishes way too clean too. So yeah, this is <laughs> surprisingly not a good beer, um, which is a shame because I've been seeing uh, a lot of pictures, you know, of this brewery at this beer store. Um, you know, so they're carrying so much of it. I was like, wow, this brewery must be good if they're carrying so much of it. I guess a lot of people want it, but 
No, this is not very good. Um, uh, BJC P-Specs, I think this is 25 to 28. This is definitely less than a 30. Might even be less than 25 if I was, if I was really going by specs. Untapped, same thing. I think I go two and a half. I might go three just because, well, it goes, maybe I go three. I would go somewhere between two and a half and three. Check me on Untapped. Um, because it is drinkable. And it's actually a little refreshing, but yeah, there's a tang to it that I don't think is supposed to be there. And it just, I don't know, I just as a certified beer judge, I can just tell there's something wrong with this. Wow, we're up to four viewers, and I'm just about to wrap this up. So, all right, well, sorry this beer is kind of lame. If you've had it or any beers from this brewery, let me know. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.